Hey guys, Darth Clark here, back with part 24 of our Fallout 4 playthrough. So, last time, we finished clearing out Nuka World, and now the whole park is ours, which is fantastic. And, uh, yeah, we wore our power armor for the last two sections of that, so that was cool. And now we are back to my favorite state, which is no power armor. I, I, and don't get me wrong, I like power armor because it has some really nice perks and it can look super cool. But in cutscenes, I just prefer to, like, see my character in, like, normal armor and stuff. And I like seeing my outfits that I work so hard on building and making look good. So, you know, here we go. Anyway, so now we officially have the, have the ability to start our invasion of the Commonwealth. And so, uh, we will need to talk to Shank to get that going. And, alright, that's to start that. Technically, it's funny that we haven't done the Silver Shroud, even though we're so high level. It's just because I can't figure out how why my character would do it. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I just can't... I can't figure out why I would want to do it. Like, why my character would care at all. And it seems funny. And so that that's why we haven't done it yet, is because from, from a role-playing perspective... I have no idea why she would do it. Because if she's self-centered, then, like, why the heck would she care about some, some superhero from back before the war blew everything up? Like, you know what I mean? So, that's kind of where we're at with that. That's the reason we haven't done it, in case you're wondering. We could just do it and then, like, try to kind of play it by ear, do it as we go, try and figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> like, you'd be like, uh, maybe she's then wondering if there'll be good loot in it for her. Or, like, perks. Or maybe she's just curious, you know? Maybe that's just the extent of it. She's just curious. Possibly. But, hey, let's, let's, why bother doing anything there when we could just ignore it? <laughs> so it's like, oh man, well if that isn't, you know, if that isn't my, if my, that isn't my life philosophy, I don't know what is. Why bother doing it when I could just ignore it? <laughs> You're like, yeah, there you go, attaboy, well done. Why bother doing it when you can just ignore it? Words to live by, that's for sure. So, let's go ahead and talk to Shank, I think will be what we do first. Yeah, well, let's go talk to Shank and we will, uh... And yeah, let's 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 talk to the man, the myth, the legend. Let's talk to Shank because I would love to start invading the Commonwealth. So let's go talk to him first, and then uh, and then I have an idea of something else that I want to do. Mostly because I want to make sure we just we see it. There's not actually a quest for it, uh, but we're gonna go look at something after afterwards. But uh, we'll talk to Shank first. Shank, yo. Well, look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gang certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name's Shank. And if you're standing here, well, I suppose Gage figured you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Let's get one thing straight here. It may have been his suggestion, but it'll be my decision. I can see that. Well, regardless of the source, idea's a good one. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is going to require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're going to need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? I say we do a big opening statement. Get a gang together. Those settlers are as good as... Let's dead. make a statement for our first invasion. <laughs> Stick with the classics. Now, once you and the crew have cleaned the place out, those lucky girls and boys will move in and start working the place. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang you want to join you on the job? 
Obviously, my favorites get the first dibs. The disciples. Yeah? <laughs> Better bring a tarp. That just leaves the target. Now, for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, the Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? Heck yeah, man. I'm ready. Good. So, where you want to do this? Okay, so here's how this works. Basically, as you can see, we have a lot of locations discovered, so we have lots of options. Um, which is, of course, freaking fantastic. Now, here's how this works. So basically, you can choose a settlement to set up. Then you, then we, uh, you, because you can talk them into just leaving if your charisma's high enough, which honestly ours is. We could totally get away with that if we wanted to. But like I said, I want to make a statement the first way in. Um, anyway, and so that is an option. Um, there is, uh, yeah, so, so that is an option. There is, you, you have lots of options. Um, so we'll, we'll set them up. You could talk them off, or like we're gonna do, you can run in and just kick the door down. Now, we'll have to convince lots of farms and other settlements to feed our people. So, I am hesitant to, like, let's say Abernathy Farm as an example. These guys make food, right? So, attacking them and taking their territory to use, it seems like a little bit of a dumb decision. Croup Manor like but you know as an example is maybe a good location because there it's not being populated by farmers uh starlight drive-in another good one there's not populated by you know it's not populated by farmers though we, we can't use them for food anyway right the lighthouses i don't remember where those are taffington boathouse is a good one i think taffington boathouse is a good one because i think the settlers there are dead because they got eaten by blood bugs so i think so like that like that was a good one red rocket truck stop is obviously a great one the this outpost is a good one because th there's nothing there but bandits the slog is a bad idea because there is ghouls there that make food so taking that one is a good idea uh nordhagen beach again would be a better idea i think to to, to take like as farmers because they make food um so you, th these are things to consider coastal cottage is a good one because there's nothing there i think there's one death claw there so th you have lots of options so i think croup manor is where i usually go first off and i think that's where we are going to go um of course red rocket truck stop and starlight drive-in are all good options as well and it, just because we even if we don't do it first it doesn't mean we're not going to do it uh we'll have to set up a minimum a minimum of three and you were of course willing to, more than welcome to set things up more than that now something you have to watch out for is you don't want to do it too fast because very quickly this can spiral out of control very easily and very quickly you could have a starving problem so now suddenly all your raiders are starving to death and they makes make, makes them pretty pissed and you can't make your your raiders work actually be farmers raiders are, did not join us sign up to join a gang to make food so if you make them like work your work your plants that you might have access to it makes them unhappy it gets them food but makes them pissed off so you so you have to be very careful to set it up and then take over lots of food places um, and you have to do everything very carefully um, and so you don't want to do it too aggressively or too fast now croup manor is a good one starlight drive-in is a good one red rocket truck stops a good one I'm thinking Croup Manor, because that's where I always go. Like, I almost always go there first, so that's where we'll strike first, assuming he says it's okay. But yeah, it's okay, because the mission popped. Yeah, that one will do. So, these sorts of jobs are pretty straightforward. Move in, kill everything in sight. I'll have some of our people meet you there to assist. Now, you're not going to be able to take a direct route to the place. Fast way to get yourself killed. So you'll have to meet our folks outside town. Now, if you're looking for something to give you an extra edge, might be worth checking in with some of the gang bosses. <laughs> Probably got some trick or two up their sleeves. The crew that's joining you is just gonna have standard kits though. If you want to arm them up differently, I'd take along some extra gear. Standard, standard. Standard kits are fine. My guys, I mean, these raiders are armed pretty well. Their guns are really good, so there's no reason to do that. So first, uh, we're going to disable these for a minute. So the gang bosses, they have uh, Dixie and Mason. Each have a grenade type that you can pick up that are really cool. So I think we are going to pick those up. So let's go ahead and go speak to Mason. Odds are he's not going to be happy with us. He might be... Oh. 
he might be pissed because we haven't given his people jack so he's he, he might be upset but you know we'll just have to see how upset he gets Life is short, boss. <laughs> yeah as you can see they're not very happy I was like look look bro just give me your just give me your grenade I like man she looks so good like like I wonder what what that aren't what the under part that she's wearing that's what I want like I like my I liked the the Raider strapped thing that I'm wearing the the what's the harness I'm, I like the harness but I'd prefer to wear what, what that girl was wearing in that cutscene we will have to give that some thought we'll have to see if we can find it yo boss let's chat Shank says you might need our help vacating the squatters living in our new digs. And ain't it just your lucky day? Wait till you see what I got. Found some toys a couple operators left on their corpses in a back alley. Not sure how they got themselves dead like that. No shame. They took them apart and made a little something different out of the parts. It was just gonna be a toy for my pets. But it's more useful than that. The beasts find these things irresistible. Toss them on the ground, and anything nearby hungry will come a-running, ripping anything in their path to pieces. But, uh, you're gonna want to be a safe distance away, because, well, things leak a little. Don't want to end up becoming a snack yourself. Oh, and here, take this paper. It'll show you how to make more. Don't look so surprised. We ain't all knuckle-draggers. It's... Impressive, Mason. Ha, ain't it though? Don't forget where you got those. And when you put that to good use claiming new haunts, don't forget us. All right? There we go. So yeah, he gives you the, the recipe and the actual grenades themselves. So uh, Mason's grenades... Um, so Mason's, Mason's grenades are... Um, I was just, I was sorry, I got distracted reading what they were saying. So Mason's grenades, you have to throw them, and then it's like, basically brings like wild animals and stuff, and they attack where, they attack anything that, that's nearby. Now, you have to be careful though, because just because it summons all these wild animals doesn't mean that they're not going to attack you. They'll attack you the same as they attack anyone else. So you have to be a little bit wise uh, as you throw them. You don't want to be throwing them willy-nilly, because you never know what might happen. So it's something to watch out for. Um, so as you, yeah. It, yeah, so it's uh, something you something you should watch out for because if you throw that too a little too haphazardly You can end up having to fight a you know an army of wild animals yourself. It happens So let's go ahead and go talk to Dixie. Uh, she'll have another grenade um, Hers are well, actually I, th I think it didn't give us an objective to talk to talk to the operators But they, they have one too, so we will talk to the operators as well um, oh no, actually, I, I I know why. I know why it didn't pop. So the operators, I don't remember what Dixie's stuff does, but I do know that the operators have a grenade too. Now, the operators' grenades, they uh, they make people much more. It's easier to persuade them. So if you were trying to convince them to leave and stuff, that's easier. So we will have to talk to her later once we have that objective, because I don't I doubt that she'll give it to me early. Um, but right now our mission isn't to. Uh, Right now, we don't. Our objective isn't to convince anyone to leave, so that's why her mission didn't pop because her grenades are not applicable here, technically. So we will not. We'll talk to her later. But let's go up and chat with Dixie, which is honestly, uh, it's a pleasurable experience anyway. I'm happy to talk to her just because, because I love Dixie a lot, and I really wish she could be a companion because I would carry her everywhere. Dixie, you adorable little psychotic person. Was wondering when you were gonna come see me. Heard you're collecting toys to help you mark us out some new stomping grounds. Well, ours is, without a doubt, the finest little piece of hardware you've ever laid your eyes on. Sure, she may be based off some shitty operator tech, but a little Dixie love and some fine tweak can go a long way. Let's just say, them fever blossoms ain't no joke. Mixing with just the right ingredients makes people mad in the hornet's nest. Perfect for convincing any meddlesome settlers to rip each other apart. Sounds like I'll be putting it to good use. Damn straight you will. I trust you'll make your mama proud. Only wish I could watch the show myself. Oh, Dixie. How I love you. So yeah. Urgh, push! Dixie the robot's not letting me out. Nailed it. Anyway. Um, but yeah. So uh, I love Dixie. A lot. The The robot could only do is only modeled after her. No offense to the robot. She's just not as good as the original. But alas, it's fine. But yeah, I uh, I I love Dixie. I wish she could be a companion, or better yet, that you could choose your accent. Like if you could have voice options, so you could choose them, that would be freaking sweet. Because if you could have a little Southern accent, you bet your butt I would. 
Because then I could be this little, like, southern psychotic person. It'd be adorable. I see why they didn't do that, and I don't I don't blame Fallout for that at all. Um, because cause then you'd have to get multiple voice actors and have ev them all voice different people in the game. So, that, that that's a lot of people. So, I, I don't blame him for that. I see why they didn't do it. Okay, I'm trying to remember where, where this thing is. Okay, I think it's here, and then you go left. So, before we take off out of the Nuka World area, we are going to use this opportunity to go explore something. There is uh, there, there is lots of little cool locations in this game, um, and we don't, we haven't explored in a while, but there is a few, there's a few ones that I know off the top of my head that I make sure I want to see on our YouTube playthrough. And one of them is somewhere in Nuka World. It's, you know, on the map, so we're going to... Go kill this robot. Uh, no, we are going to, uh, oh, these are the guys with, like, the mortars. Fun fact, did you guys know that the robots respawn? I didn't. I do know that I'm crushing these robots, though. Okay. Well, unless you get down here, robot, I'm not coming after you. Alright. Well, if you really want it, you know where to find me. Get back. There's something south. That might be it. We, we could be a little farther north. Let's go check it out, shall we? Let's go up a little more up and behind, though. Because I really feel like I feel like I was like against the mountain, almost. I might be wrong, but... We'll go check out that location over down there. Yeah, I don't think it's that. I know it's not that. It was like up against a mountain. It could I don't remember if it was on the west or east side. That's the problem. It was either against the west or the east, and I don't remember. I kept looking cuz I Oh, there's a Mr. Gutsy killing things. Doesn't matter to us though. Yeah, this is just a little ruined. Oh no, this is not ruined. These guys they just like sell things and they're just farmers. But we'll discover it. Dunmore Homestead. Yeah, obviously that's not it. It was like a suit. I don't remember. That's the problem is I don't remember. It was like super far west or super far east. I don't remember which one. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and do a little observation here. I see a couple of Yao Guai bopping around over there. You guys just mind your own business, all right? Let's see here. Okay, well, maybe let's go... Because I, I don't remember where the power plant is. Is the power plant to that west? Which almost makes me think it's up here to the east, then. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the Nuka-Cola bottling plant. And then from there, we'll go east. Because it was against one of the walls. And I feel like that the power plant is on the left side of the map, I think. I think that's what that, that road leads to about dead center of the map. Um, and where we're going is against it's against the edge of the map somewhere, or very close. So we're going to test the east side of the, the east border of the map. Because I, I'm thinking maybe it's on that side of things. You know, I would love to carry the gun that you get in Nuka World. That one, the one that's like super moddable. The problem being, of course, is uh, you only get bullets in Nuka World. And so, although it's highly moddable, and it's a... Oh, they open inwards. Anyway, and although it's highly moddable, and it's you have lots of options and ways you can morph it, the obviously, the big problem being uh, is, you know, the bullets are so are so rare that it's not it's not cost-effective. Not when you can just, you know, carry, carry other guns that you find ammo everywhere for. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Okay, so we'll go out this way, then we'll go up there, because I think it's over there. I think it's over there, up in that corner. This feels... I feel like we're going the right direction. There's also a rad storm coming in, by the way. So we will take some, uh... Nuka World Red Rocket. Okay, uh, and we're gonna go to Rad X. I'll thank myself in a minute. There it is, right on cue. I would, Dixie, but, uh, no amount of movement's gonna get me out of this storm. There's gunfire. Yeah, I feel I feel like we're definitely going the right way. This feel this feels very very correct. I'm gonna discover this little city first, and then we'll go up there because I think that's it over there, the little marker on the map. But we'll discover this little tiny little tiny town. Is this like the Brad Burton USA, like the fake the, the little town that the employees built? Yep, Brad Burton. This is a little village that they all put together because it was easier than commuting to Nuka World, where they all worked and stuff. 
There's also like a pond over there, apparently. But we are on a mission. And we don't even have permission. This could be it. I don't know. No, this is definitely a farm. Still, it kind of feels like we're going the right direction. Dude, look at that. There's power armor in there. Interesting. They're like, if you could find the way in, you can have it. Interesting. Let's do some spying. Okay, so it's not complete. It's a partial set of armor. Ah, okay. So you come in from below, which means somewhere there is a below... There's like a cave somewhere. Alright, well my first thought is over here. Because this is lower. Level-wise, this feels pretty... Ah, like a storm drain? You know, it's actually not easy being, being a genius. I know, it's just, it's not easy, you know? It's not easy being so incredibly smart. Ow! Sometimes <laughs> I get attacked by a rad roach. <laughs> They're like, oh, shut up. <laughs> You're being ridiculous. Mentats. We don't need no regular Nuka Cola. We don't even need the Mentats, but here we are. You know, but here we are. Ooh. This I can open. No, no, no. Nailed it. Sweet. All right. Dixie. Hey. Think you can unlock that? Give it the old college try, Dixie. This lock appears to be a bit tricky, but I'll do my best. Hmm. Maybe if I tried this. Do -do -do -do. Let me try something else. What do you think this guy was? No, that's not it. Well, that's that. Oh well. I'm sorry, this lock was trickier than I assumed. To be fair, I expected nothing from you, so. Let me have this one. Kill him, Dixie. Interesting. So one of them is a Brotherhood of Steel part. The rest of it is T60. So it's Won't very pick this. ramshackle. There we go. It's like the quietest garage door I ever saw. Hey. Yes. Hey. See what you can do. Make it so, number one. Looks like this shouldn't be too difficult. I've heard that before. There we are. Oh. Unlocked oh. <laughs> as requested. All right. Well, sorry, I doubted you. Right away. Take all of that. We'll even take that. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, take this puppy home, shall we? Might as well add it to our collection of ramshackle parts. Right? Ramshackle power armor, I should say. Okay. Uh, homeward bound. I'll probably just see you guys in a minute, because while I'm out, I'll probably just Google where what I'm looking for is, and then I'll just surprise you when, when I find it. Alright, welcome back. So, uh, I was actually close, believe it or not. So, uh, my original guess was I went to the, uh, junkyard. Now, the, the funny thing, and then we found the, the homestead. Well, it turns out we were actually on the right track originally. We were very close, because it's actually over here. Um, is what, 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 is what we're looking for there. So we're gonna run to the east. And it was, and it's funny, cause like I said, we were actually close. Or no, west, I mean, sorry. Right? Yeah, west. Anyway, but yeah, it's funny, cause our original guess, we were actually pretty close. Although, oh yeah, see, look. It's right there. See what I mean? See how close we were? We were actually close, we were just a little too far north. Now, while we're here though, it occurs to me, I was like, you know, the, all these guys are dead. We could just loot their buildings while we're here. Might as well. I mean, what are they going to do? Come back from the dead and stop me? We could turn on our light, though. Make some of this a little easier to see. Do -do -do -do. Funny, you like open it, there's a grenade. I'll be like, man, what's wrong with these with these hubologists, man? The her herbologists? Hubologists? Whatever. So what's wrong with these people? You look at something little and there's a freaking grenade inside. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Hit me. I'm ready. Hit me. Ah, Nuka Fruity! 
It's funny how many of the recipes I'm finding when I'm not looking for them at all. It's just funny, because, like, when I was initially looking for them, they were kind of a pain to find. Mostly because they were scattered all over creation, which was a pain. The heck is this? Oh, it's probably like a big old telescope. Anyway, alright. Uh, west. So they've turns out they have like all, they have pretty much nothing good. Which big surprise. They're, they're like living in the sticks out here. You can turn that off now. Ain't no reason now. Alright. Oh man. Are you guys ready? Are you even ready? Well, well. Feel that, nerd? Alright, I shaved his little insect leg. Dixie, you saved the bug's life. Why? Bug's life? I love that movie. Yeah, I hit him again. Sorry, Dixie, I shot you again. <laughs> What? You mean the giant fly? Yeah, I saw it. Sorry, Dixie. Pretty sure I shot you several times. Right there. That's my bad. <laughs> I was trying very hard to... I was trying to no-scope the bug, and obviously it didn't go very well. Is that other bug still alive? I don't remember if I got all of them or not. I feel like I didn't get the glowing one. Odds are he'll show up again. He'll be back. Probably. Stingwing. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Stinglings are bad Juju Magumbo, man. As we've seen, I almost like I all <laughs> I we've we've encountered them before, and boy howdy did we wish we didn't. I'm really tempted just to open fire on them, gonna be honest. Nailed it. Hey look, he's back. I told you I told you he'd come back. <laughs> I was like, hey look, speak of the devil. I told you he'd be back. Ooh, there's Myra Lurks over there, by the way. You feel that? Oops. It hesitated to the fire the first time, that's not my fault. Nailed it. Okay. We're almost there, people. Don't you worry. I wonder if we should put a bayonet on the end of this gun, considering it's my go-to, and it's not like I'm sniping with it. I wonder if we should put a bayonet on the end of this. Grandchester Mystery Mansion. You guys are ready to enter the haunted mansion? It's gonna be sweet, man. Can you go over here? Can you? I mean, you you can, but there's no point. Anyway. Alright. You guys ready to go on a haunted mansion trip? It's gonna be fun. I'm an employee. I get in for free. Enjoy your Nailed it. visit to the Grandchester Mystery Mansion. Taking <laughs> art, spray, painting the animatronic models is prohibited. It's a mystery. See where she committed the bloody deed. Marvel at the... Alright, yeah, we, we get it. We get it. We get it. Hope, I hope we'll actually be able to hear it, because last time, there's a lot of enemies in here. But there's like robots and things that try and kill you, and it, I'd prefer to be able to focus on the story. I don't know if it'll go that easily, but... So yeah, this, there's, a fun, there's a fun story here. The story of the Grandchester Mystery Mansion begins with Morticia and Hannibal Grandchester. <laughs> Morticia nearly died their only child, Lucy. Hannibal never wanted a child and resents the young girl for the near death of his wife. Please proceed to the next room. No Yikes. shoving or pushing. Disruptive behavior will result in being removed. Morticia Grandchester ordered this stairway to nowhere, built in an effort to confuse the evil spirits possessing her daughter Lucy. From the Grandchester Interesting. Interesting. 
Okay, so are you following the story so far? There's a there's a young girl named Lucy. Uh, she almost killed her mother. Almost died in childbirth. Uh, the, the 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 dad doesn't like her because uh, his wife almost died, and he he blames the girl as if it's her fault somehow because he's an idiot. Oh well, that's funny. <laughs> you open it this wrong way, like idiot. As a young child, Lucy proves difficult for her elderly parents. In this very room, her mother read her stories by Shelley and Paul, and histories of the Borgias. With no friends to speak of, she would capture small animals to play with. Their skin were found nailed to the undersides of the furniture. Wow. Intense girl. Guests are not allowed to remove items as souvenirs. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Stop me? Please proceed to the next room. Morticia was soon... <laughs> soon <laughs> I don't know where he is. I'm just guessing. Focus on the story, people. Throughout her short life, Lucy was fascinated with fire. She liked to throw insects into the flames and watch them burn. That's dark. <laughs> Easy. If only he turns back on and I immediately get shot again. Ooh, look at all the crap he had. Pipe rifle. That's garbo, man. Morticia's psychic insisted that Lucy could be ah! saved by driving out her evil spirits. Rooms such as this one were built to confuse the spirits, making it more difficult for them to find Lucy. One morning, Hannibal came in here to find a doll that looked suspiciously like him, swinging. From a noose. Climbing on the ceiling furniture is strictly prohibited. It's funny too because uh proceed to the next combat knife. Obviously no thanks were above that. Yeah, that's kinda confusing. That's kinda confusing. But yeah, it's just it's just interesting. We'll we'll I'll talk more when this whole shindig is over. Mostly what I'm focusing on is uh We'll talk more when it's over. Hannibal walked with a cane after that. Lucy quickly learned to stay out of range of his swing. Guests are asked to refrain from using the kitchen spoons as swords and dueling with them. All right. Please proceed to the next room. There's not a lot of like good like l actual loot in here. Mostly it's just a couple of like super good items, but uh, and of course bullets and things, but that we're keeping an eye out of. But yeah, we really don't need a lot of that. Good thing I disabled that because Dixie was about to step on it. Uh, the Grandchesters had trouble keeping staff, especially cooks. Once Lucy was old enough to roam the mansion, the longest serving cook was Granny Ratchet, whom they hired away from from a prison. She quit after five months, declaring Lucy to be Satan's spawn. Wow, that is that is a lot to take in. Well, there's a master lock door. I think you find a key for that later, but go ahead and go try. Go check that out. Go try, man. I have no faith that you'll do it, but. This one's going to be a challenge, but I'm 
But hey, you, you never know. I, I again, I don't expect her to. I, I'm wondering if you find a key, but but you know there she can try. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Give me. Microscope. I don't need no stinking microscope. Uh. Oh, it's on the other, other side of the door. Don't worry, little rat roach. I'll let you out. That's there you go. Idiot. <laughs> Just shot him as soon as he got out. He's like, I'm free. Block. Uh, even the aluminum, the aluminum canister was. Ooh, economy wonder glue. It's probably a little aggressive, but soap is free oil, man. Whoa! All right. Look at all the dead people. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if I should use rat away and eat some corpses. Uh, hang on. Let's go rat away. Get rid of those rats I got. And just pick one. It doesn't matter which. Uh, I think the burp is the worst part, dude. <laughs> Darn it. There we go. There you go. Well, gonna be honest, I'm really surprised you got that open. But, uh, hey, there was some cool stuff in here. Again, I'm still wondering if I would have found a key for that later, but whatever. All right. Anyway, on with the story. I know that was awkward. I reloaded thinking that was it and he was very much not dead. He was very much not dead. And I'm like, done. I did it. Mission accomplished. Go ahead and need one of those. I'll take that. Rat poison. As we pass back through the parlor, notice the stairway going nowhere. We found that. This was yet another attempt by Morticia to confuse the evil spirits possessing her daughter. It is not permitted to dangle small children over the railing <laughs> to proceed to the next room. I like how his warnings are getting more and more ridiculous. Oh, there was a tripwire. Whatever it is, it missed. Oh, there was a pistol there. Well, it still missed. Anyway, I like how his warnings are getting more and more ridiculous. Oh, and the dripping. What is that dripping noise? What is that ticking noise? Madam Scarlata conducted seances in this room for more. Hey, look at that. In an attempt to drive the spirits from her daughter. Lucy would sit in the room above this one and knock on the ceiling during seances. Huh. Apparently that one counts as Madame stealing. Scarlato once accused the little girl of trying to push her down the stairs. There is no need to be scared. Modern science has proven that ghosts are not real and seances are fake. You know, when the Grandchester Mystery Mansion was sold at auction, several trick candles were found here. It's a uh, ow, frickin' to the next room. Anyway, I like how it's he's getting even the narrator guy is getting more creepy. He's like, there's no need to be scared. He's detecting sentient life. Oh. Alert level elevated. Anyway, let's go say hi to let's go say hi to this robot. Ooh, another one. I like how it counts as stealing, even though there's no one here. Yo! <laughs> go get him, Dixie. We need the aluminum and the nuclear material. I don't need more circuits. Ouchie! child would not want to play with a toy boning knife like the one Lucy used to skin small animals. That's right. What child wouldn't want that? For a 
adults. Functional replicas. Functional replicas are available. If you really want a stuff weapon to skin someone with, we'll provide it. Alright. Just wanted to double check there's nothing super amazing. Oop, oh, pause. There's bullets, and bullets are always amazing. Also, pre-war money, nothing wrong with that. Alright, are you with me, uh... You with me, Dixie? Oh, pause, 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 pause. Hang on. Ah, oh, I knew it. Dixie was pushing me towards the door. That's nice. Ow. Hannibal came to Lucy's room to punish her for the prank. We'll never know for sure how it happened, but he was found with a pair of scissors driven through his eye and into his brain. Ow. Lucy claimed she was holding them in cell. Hang on. Dang it. <laughs> Got a little too aggressive on the first try there. Ooh, ooh. Too high. Nailed it. Oh or God. low, I meant, I guess. As he tried to beat her with his cane, she said he tripped and fell onto the scissors. Tragic accident. When asked why his fingers had all been cut off, Wow. She replied that it was so he couldn't hold the cane again. Yeah, that'll Lucy's teach him. Lucy's mother was found dead in the master bedroom with a cloth doll stuffed in her mouth. Her wrists had rope burns, but no ropes were ever found. Interesting. Lucy insisted that the doll was solely responsible. Because Morticia wouldn't give her a kiss goodnight. Lucy was committed to an asylum. On her 18th birthday, she escaped. Nine Interesting. days later, she was found hanging in the attic, dead from an apparent suicide. Please proceed to the next room. Interesting. And guests are not committed to commit suicide. How the hell did you survive all my traps? Get him! No, oh, I'm good. See that guy? He was like, how did you survive all of my traps? Don't worry, we'll discover his secret in a minute. Hey look, also, another recipe. They're freaking everywhere. Textbooks, sweater vests, and slacks. Close that. Fuse. A pin. Alright, first of all, what's up, man? Grand Chester Mansion Key. Give me all of those. I don't need your I don't need your food. I already have plasma weapons that I'm not already not using, so no thanks. I will take that alarm clock though. I think that has screws in it. Jet. I don't need your pipe pistol. I do want the fusion core. There's a master lock on that door. Shotgun shells. Money, shotgun shells. More ammo. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, there was a dude in here. Everyone's like, man, what the heck was he doing in here? Let's 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 read the terminal and find out. Tour guide controls. System error. Zachariah entry one. You effing terminal. You can't, you ain't good for nothing. Is this even recording what I type? Piece of junk. Um, ain't got nobody else to talk to. Guess I'll talk to this stupid terminal. It gets lonely up here, but I'm used to that. At least I'm getting by and I'm free. You know, I'm glad I ditched those damn gunners at Mass Pike Interchange. I was sick of taking orders from Winlock and Barnes. Both of those losers thought they were good. They were, uh, hot stuff. <laughs> Hope they're dead now. Uh, editing for the win. Uh, this Grandchester place sure is perfect. I bought, I brought some of my toys with me, and I'm gonna set the place up to make the uh, attraction a little deadlier haunted house. My ass, this piece was, this place was a joke. Enter three. This is turning out to be a pretty sweet setup after all. All I'm gonna do is leave a few tickets by that, st uh, by that stupid ticket taker, and they scamper in like rats to garbage. Already uh, uh, bagged a idiot Minuteman that wandered in, and some family traveling west. Minuteman had some good stuff, but the family only had some food and caps. Who the hell travels in the wasteland with no weapons and ammo, idiots? 
and added some more traps and tweaked the bots. That last group of Wastelanders almost got to me. They had some sweet loot though. Uh, finally cut a deal with those Nuka World Raiders to sell my stuff to them. I was running out of food and water, can't eat, can't eat guns. Uh, one of those damn robots keeps uh, malfunctioning. Can't figure out which one it is. It keeps laughing or something. Gotta be the Assaultron because it kind of sounds like a little girl. Going to take me forever to fix that crap. Right, so you're like, well that's kind of spooky. So yeah, that's kind of spooky. I also thought that's a master lock and I can't open the door. And that's Nuka World and the key does open that. Let's see. Hey. Heads up. Yes, ma'am. Check it out. Give it the old college try. Do it. Let's look under the bed, see if we can find this like a, going to be a I know it is. That's why I'm worried you're not gonna be able to do it. And he doesn't have any more keys or anything, so if she doesn't open it, no, that's not it. we're in trouble. Yep, well. Alright, let's go ahead and look outside. Maybe we'll get lucky and there's a key out there or something. Because, yeah, we have to get it. We have, we have to get up there, but it's a freaking master lock, dude. Okay, and this just goes outside and whatnot. Yeah. Alright. Dixie, could you not? Thank you. Back inside. Yeah, we have to get up. Uh, we, ha we have to get up there. We have to get up there. There's important things up there. Crap. I'm trying to think about why they would, like, hide the best part up here. Lock tight. And there's no other uh, locks anywhere. Dag nabbit, Zachariah. You didn't have an option for this? Hmm? Why, well, you didn't think you'd need a key? And the terminal doesn't open the door. There's no other keys up there. We gotta find that key, man. I know it's here somewhere. All right, well maybe we could see if there's any other places that uh, this key like opens. I doubt that there will be, but I don't know, maybe. And then none of these are the robots who are holding keys. Alrighty, we are back. So, unfortunately, I scoured that whole freaking mansion and I could not find a key or any way in there. There's just an inaccessible master lock. So, I am going to do a quick little Google search and see if there's a way in up there, sh other than, of course, being able to, you know, pick a master lock. And Dixie, of course, couldn't do it, and I couldn't find and the key we got doesn't open it. So, I'm going to do a Google search. Odds are I won't find anything, and then we will move on with our lives. Alrighty, we are back. So, yeah, I, I looked it up. They're like, you know, they're like, level up your lock picking scale or bring a robot. Well, clearly our robot didn't do it. So, we will revisit that because the whole point we even we even went to that stupid mansion was to, uh... The whole, whole point we even went to that stupid mansion was, uh... To... To do something for sure. Uh, the whole point we went to the mansion was so that we could get to the top. Because the top has a... The whole point of that is the end... Of, it has a super cool ending. Um, and so, yeah, it has a super cool ending, and that ending is, uh, yeah, the first time I saw it, it actually gave me a little bit of a chill, and I would love to, you know, see more of it, so we're gonna have to level up lockpicking, or we'll, like, leave, we'll, we'll do a few things, then we'll come back, and then we'll try again with the robot, and eventually, with enough dice rolls, it'll give it to us, ideally. So that's the plan. Now, let's go ahead and teleport somewhere, let's just go ahead and go to the satellite array, I guess. Because, yeah, we need to get to that manor. And so we will head that direction because we are going to capture our first, uh, we're going to capture our first place, which will be super, super cool. So, yeah, we will, we'll, maybe we'll, after we get back to civilization, we will look at lock picking and we'll see. Obviously, I mean, we're like 95 levels from being able to do it ourselves. So that's a problem. Um, and next level, we really, there's another one we need to get to. So, really, it would be like five levels away, which is unfortunate because that's like eternity. And, uh, yeah, so there's, like, literally nothing good. Alright, so how far is lockpicking? I'm assuming it's super, super, incredibly far. Yeah, so well, first of all, we'd have to level up perception to four, so that's one level. Then we'd have to get one for advanced, two for expert, three for master, so a minimum of four levels away. Um, or, I, or, a, or if we're living the dream, we go all the way up to five, and then our lockpicks never break, which would be easier. Because picking a master lock would suck. 
We can technically do it, though. But yeah, that's a lot of levels away. And next level, I realize that instead of going for science, we actually have to grab the next level of local leader so that we can build stores and workstations at workshop settlements um, because we're going to need it for our bandit places. And so we're actually going to have to get that one next. And then the next level, we could get science. But we're so far away from getting lock, pick that lock picking that I don't really want to invest in any of that right now. And so I think we'll just keep doing things and we'll just keep coming back. And eventually, with enough dice rolls, uh, Dixie will get that lock open. So that's the plan. So that's the plan. We also could take Kate if I could find her. We could we could see if we could find Kate and we could send her to do it as well. So we have a few options, but none of none of them are easy or convenient. So, you know, we'll keep revisiting. Eventually I'm going to get that stupid door open because there's some cool stuff. There's a cool ending to that whole thing. The whole reason we went there was so I was so I could show you guys that. So that's really that's really annoying. Ow, you little punk. Just turn and all I saw was teeth. Stupid dog. Anyway, we'll get there. I had only denied me for now, but eventually with enough dice rolls in the robe and our stupid robot, and we'll get that stupid door open. Eventually it'll happen. You know, it, it's been so long since we've been back on the main commonwealth that I forgot that the Brotherhood of my allies. <laughs> I was like, yeah, technically I'm like a sentinel in the Brotherhood. I'm like advanced Brotherhood. I'm like Brotherhood Mark II. It wasn't pretty, but we got him. Oh, what a beautiful shot that was. Hey, I'll drop. Someone is chucking Molotovs like mad. I'm just firing into the smoke. I don't know where he is. There you are. Is there's all this crap in there. Ow. There you are, you little pest. You're not covering Jack, woman. I'm doing all the work here. I've gotten all the kills. Literally all of them. Alright. Where are they? I'm ready with a melee weapon. You better not. I was about to say you better not miss, because if you don't, I'm gonna kill you. Ow. Boo. Wanna go? Wanna have a melee fight, punk? You lose. And as soon as I after I kill your buddy, I'm gonna come back for you. Where's the door? <laughs> Where's the door? You better make it count, because I'm killing you. There you go. Our melee weapon has tasted blood. Combat rifle. Combat armor. We have some healing to do, because, uh, man, that lady, she she really hits hard. Those combat rifles are not a joke. Book return token. Sure, I'll take a book return token. I don't know if they'll ever come in handy again, but they also don't weigh anything, so... At least I'm pretty sure they don't weigh anything. Oh, there's another one. Well, that sound was super delayed. Oh, look, another book return token. They all have book return stuff. All right, give me just one minute, guys. And we're back. All right. So. Anything good in here? I'm sure we'll take that. Now, we already killed that dude. And we already snacked on his body. I want this. I don't want your stupid food. I, ooh, I want those book return tokens, though. I don't need the flag. It's just cloth, and I have quite a few of those. Delicious. And just like that, we're back to full health. Alright, but now we can actually search the inside. He had a lot he had a lot of good stuff. Alright, so they have lots of random junk here. Nothing good. We could check this book and see if 
I mean, if nothing else, we could return my books, because I am holding a few. See, so, yeah, I was holding six of them. Now, we could see. Anything good? Uh, frag grenade, combat knife, mentats, 10 millimeter. Uh... Fusion core, stim pack, and I have 61 tokens. We could get a fusion core. Sure, give me a fusion core. Nice. Well, we did get some. We got we got some good stuff then. All right, well we can turn this on. Now that we're just exploring, give me that fan. Indeed, Daisy. Indeed. We're gonna find all this good loot too. Oh, seeing all these like arcade machines, I'm having f nightmarish flashbacks of having to grind for that stupid achievement. I mean, I got it, mind you, because I I wanted to 100% the game, and I did. We did, and I did do it. But man, that grind was painful. So slow. I also want all the all of the. Uh, mostly, I'm here for all of the ammo they're carrying. Oh, it's so juicy. Funny if I open this, you'd be like, you know, yeah, it's going fine. And then you open it and it turns out there's like a, I don't know, some sort of, like, there's like a death claw or something in here. And you're just like, holy! <laughs> why do you guys have a death claw? And also, why do you have a little plank? Ooh. No way I can oh, goody. This. A master lock. Hey, look at Bingo. that. Permanently gain one plus luck from alcohol when adventuring with a companion. Man, that is just, that is super specific. <laughs> Man, that is specific. I don't think there's anything I'm on me that I can do anything with, right? No. No, I cannot. All right, get out. Well, I'll have What's-Her-Face try and pick it, but we've already seen what master Look locks alive. are like for you. Can you get that open? Give it a try. I have no faith, but give it a try. This one's going to be a challenge, but I'm still willing to give it a try. Let me try something else. Can you do it or not? Nah? Maybe if I tried this. Definitely or not. Nah. Hmm. She has one Maybe more try, and that's this. it. Well, that's that. Yep, there you go. I'm sorry, this lock was trickier well, I there you go. Whoa, I'm accidentally eating your body. I was trying to jump over the railing. <laughs> and I was partially midair and partially eating. Alright, anyway. Anyway, down we go. On with our mission. The bandits were only a speed bump. And our otherwise flawless plan. I was like, what? Anything good in these? Nope. Alright, I don't want to get too aggressive here. I just want to discover the location because I'm greedy. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me right here, please. It'll make me go closer. Blast it. Crap, how close do I have to get? Apparently I have to get right on top of it. Freaking give it to me. Seriously? I was about to say, like, come on, man. I'm dying here. Ooh, there's a farm up there, guys. We're going to need farms before long. But really, but we're on a mission. We should be focusing here. Ah! I was like, where? <laughs> Did you hear that? What, is there another one? No more hiding for you. Alright. Hello there. Hi. I have no idea what your story is, but it's also none of my business. Yeah, there's a farm over there. Farms before long are going to be something we need. A lot. Take those. Up. Pause. Desk fan equals screws. And screws equal happiness. I think there's... Ah. See, what did I just say? I was about to say, I think there's bad things up ahead. And by up ahead, I mean I'm al I almost stood on him. Now, we have options here. We could go over this bridge and then down the next one, or we could hop it and swim. We have options. 
kind of want to try discovering this location. Because you do get experience from discovering locations. There you go. Gibson Point Pier. And I'm assuming this is a lock. Huh. I swear I had a memory of it being locked. I know, I picked it up on impulse and it's not even good. I don't think. Junk. What is that? What was it? Kitchen scale? Yeah, kitchen scale gives me springs and steel. With I don't really need any of that, to be honest. My apologies. That's right. Even in the shell, and I'm getting that kind of damage. Nailed it. All right. Well, now that we discovered it, now there's no reason to stick around. Well, that was embarrassing for that Meyer lurk. <laughs> He's like, I'm a force of nature, and then he just gets nuked. I'm getting so much experience killing all these Meyer lurks. Yeah, keep them coming. Do me a favor. Level me up. Especially because these days my damage is so good that all these little peons mean nothing to me. I'm really tempted to stick to, stick to the bridge. Just because I'm having flashbacks. So, this won't mean anything from you guys. Um, but... When one of my, I think my first test playthrough, when I was initially getting right, but getting back into Fallout 4, um, I was over here and I hopped across this water and I'm like, oh hey, you know, I'm going over. I think I was going to Croup Manor and I'm like, you know, I don't need to go all the way up the bridge. Let's just let's just swim. So I was in power armor and I jumped and I walked across that whole water and I got over to land over there and then over there there's a century over there. There's raiders over there and I got attacked by everything. And then there was these mirelurks over here were chasing me in the water. So I was mirelurks in the water. There was a century on the land and there was raiders shooting at me and the century. And it was chaos. So ever since then, I've kind of had some PTSD about hopping in this water over here. So maybe we'll try and uh, go on the land, shall we? Maybe we'll discover more locations. And it'll be easier to deal with any kind of threats this way. Oh dear. I don't think we. I don't think you can actually get there from this side. I think you could get down this way, but I don't think you could. You could get up this way. Oh wait, no, you can't. You just have to. You could just have to. You just have to want it. You can do it. You just gotta be careful, man. It's like foggy or dusty over here. It kind of, it's kind of foggy. It's kind of foggy. The good news is we're almost leveled up. He's wearing a captain's hat because he thinks he's funny. Now he's a dead guy. Powerful road leathers. I don't need any of that crap. Refrigerator. And why is it locked? Is it full of loot? Nice. Ooh. It actually was full of loot, surprisingly. He was protecting his little fridge. It didn't go well. Hey. Pier parking. Certainly wasn't pretty, but we got him. Let's get some altitude, shall we? Oh, yeah. Ah, the century. See, right on cue. Yeah, suck on that, idiot. I'm, I had I, I wasn't gonna be taken advantage of this time. All right, so we unfortunately have to grab this. Not an exciting perk, but we need it. Uh, you can build stores and workstations and workshop settlements. So that'll be good for us. We're gonna need it. And the next level, we can work on science, fusion core, and bullets. Uh, I'll take the aluminum. I don't really need any of the rest of that. Yeah, there we go. Wasn't gonna have a repeat of the other time I was here. I wasn't having it. Anything good? No. Man, it is foggy over here. Also, look, a settler, and he has a note. What does it say? Uh, misc, I think it was like, I think it just said note. I think that's all it was called. I wonder if we should empty our misc and see if we can um, dump some of our miscellaneous. I don't know if we need all of it anymore. There we go, note. Okay, uh, Billy, I've got the laser. Now we just have to figure out a way to sell it without anyone getting wise to what we're up to. I've stashed it in Hyde Park. I'll meet you there tonight, Sue. P.S. Make sure you're not followed. I think John is starting to get suspicious. Recover the laser from Hyde Park. Interesting. Laser meaning what? Well, first, let's let's make sure 
There we go. I was about to say, make sure that's not highlighted, because that's not exactly top priority. We'll get there when we get there. Oh, look, another sentry. And he got dumpstered, too. Turns out there's lots of sentries over here. And his bullets did, like, nothing. Despite the fact that it feels like you're getting assassinated, you're actually not. They actually don't do a lot of damage. I don't really need any of that. The aluminum's nice, but weight-wise, I think I'm about tacked out, so... What do you mean, help defend the checkpoint? Darn it, Brotherhood. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? All right, well. The, the checkpoint's on the way, so I guess we'll hurry. Hey. You boys, you guys okay? I didn't even do anything. Hey. I know you're in there. Oh, there you are. He's stuck on the fence. What an idiot. You like that? Huh? He's like, I didn't actually feel it. Oh, come on. I know you're down there. Oh, now they come up. Man, it's like they're trying to hide from me. Wow. He is just, they're just spraying. Oh, there you are. Hey, Irradi irradiated blood, nuclear material. There you go, you guys okay? Can I go about my business invading the everything now? All right, looks like the road continues on this way. Oh, come on, give it to me, thank you. There we go, all right. Our mission continues. And that vertebrae just landed. Do 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 do. Do do do. We're getting warmer. Sure, I'll take a toy rocket ship. Nothing good in the gas register. Alright, continuing on. Okay, now it's important that we don't actually go all the way. Uh, like, we don't want to accidentally trigger anything. Or we don't want to discover the location, we want to discover our guys first, so. That's the plan. There's also, like, nothing good up here, so not really much point. Anyway. Alright. Remember to swing around wide just a little. Hello, weird-looking bird. Oh, the frames when the birds show up. The frames right now, please let me die. Just let me die. Oh, bleh! The frames, please! Oh my gosh, thank you. Crap, I was dying, man. Dying right now. Alright, let's go say hi to the uh, disciples. To my boyos. Looks like robots. Wow, it is foggy over there. Whatever. Not our problem. Hey guys, what's up, my disciple brethren? Hey there, boss. I checked out what we're facing. Bunch of pests have run of the place. Want to move in? Let's get this show on the road. Hell yeah! Forward for the disciples. Yes. There's ghouls here. In case you can't tell. I see that slaughter? They ran into that choke and just died. Oh, I won't. Don't you worry. Alright. Let's go ahead and bring out the shotgun here, because this is a very close range experience. As you can tell, there's a few of them doing the whole playing dead act.
Let's say that is not a position they lay in when they're when they're actually dead. Hey, uh, Dixie, come over here, please. I'm having a, a weight issue. Hey, look alive. Like All right, they are not. I am not scared. Don't you don't you push your agenda on me, Dixie? Okay. Also, hold on my garbage. This is all for you. Here, you can hold literally all of it. There, that's for you. Okay. Anyway, let's first let's check upstairs before we check down. Down boy. Oh, that vertebrate probably just died. Yep, certainly sounds like it. Which is no surprise there. Vertebrates are just big and large, and they rarely kill anything fast enough to make them actually, whatever the word is, quote unquote, competitive. Advanced. All right. Hey. I'd be happy to help if I can. Over there. Go for it. I know what's in there, by the way. Dixie, get your butt up the stairs, you moron. Hey, what can I do for you? Move here. First, get upstairs, no if you can manage that. Upstairs. You're, you're, you were so close to turn left. There you go. Shuffle your way this way. Here. Certainly. See, you say that, but I'm having trouble believing you. Head over there. I'll take care of it. Dixie. Never freaking mind. Move, you moron. Luckily, I'm pretty sure I know, I might know another way to get into that room up there without Dixie being there. If I was smart, I would have invested in lockpicking a lot earlier in yes. this playthrough. Oh, holy crap, that mannequin just exploded. I'm also getting some rads for some reason. Alright, first let's unlock this desk. That looks suspicious. Suspicious? Sweet. There we go. Bedroom key. Don't even need you, Dixie. Don't even need you. How about you get your stupid face? Are you serious? You warped up higher to hey. knock me out. Go there. Move. No Idiot. Idiot! I now understand why I used to play these why I used to play without. I now understand why I used to play without companions. They are just so dumb. If I didn't need the mule, I wouldn't bother. All right, there we go. Now we got the basement key, which is what we needed. Get the glowing one. Oh, there we go. So let's say, I want my loot from that. Give me that. Okay, now we got the basement key, which is what we needed. Now we can actually get to the basement. Progress. This way. Down, boy. Lighter will have oil, I think. Pencil is like weigh, weighs, I think, literally nothing. So there's no reason not to carry him. Nothing good there. Okay, into the basement. The basement has quite a few ghouls in it, if memory serves. If memory serves. Now, first of all, what grenades am I am I holding right now? Uh, probably just what Molotovs. I'm actually out of Molotovs. I'm glad I checked. All right, well, I think there's probably a regular... Well, we can grab a frag mine. <laughs> All right, sorry. Easily amused. Down, boy. That's for you. Hey, all right. I don't need the duct tape. Members of your gang will occupy this location, but your crews won't tolerate betrayal. Killing all the Nuka World gang members at this or any Raider apples will cause all the gangs in Nuka World to turn on you. Yeah, no kidding. They're like, don't shoot your buddies. Like, great, great talk. It's very observant of you.
Ooh. Finally, a place, a uh, trunk that's not locked. Be still my beating heart. I'm assuming she didn't come in with me. No, she didn't. Big surprise. Probably still stuck up there like an idiot. Theodore's personal terminal. I don't think there's anything useful in this. Alright, uh, there we go. So basically, if you want the story of what this is all about, let me just explain it to you really quick. The people that lived here, this guy, Theodore Krupp, uh, all of his friends and family, his his family when the bombs fell, they all turned to, to ghouls. They all went feral. Obviously, he didn't. Uh, yeah, they went feral. He didn't. And he has been, he was trying to, like, civilize them, basically, to make them, you know, to make, to try and, I don't know, turn him into something. Uh, it didn't work. And, dang it, I keep missing. That's the problem with this, is there's water down here, and I keep drinking it. Anyway, so yeah, that's the story. He's trying to civilize him, didn't work, he got pissed. There you go, that's the story. The reason I'm grabbing everything is because when you uh, put up the workshop here, um, it, when you put up the workshop here, you can't access anything inside here. Uh, so if there's anything that you want to pick up and salvage and whatnot out of this, now's the time to do it. There we go. Okay, I grabbed everything of value that I can open, so. Progress. Okay. There we go. All right. So now, uh, we will dump all of this in that in our workshop there. We'll pick up everything that uh, Daisy has, as, or not Daisy, Dixie. Dixie has, and we'll drop all that as well. Um, yeah, and we'll we'll get this place up and running, shall we? Thanks, Dixie. Really happy you opened the door that's already open. I mean, that means a lot. Ya idiot. I feel like picking up anything that the ghouls have is a good idea, too. Anything that they're carrying. Before it was worthless, but now we can deposit it. Beautiful. Okay. Now we can go ahead and uh, drop off this garbage. Although there's actually one little thing we have to look at first. Let's see. We gotta go over here. To this section. We can, we can uh, trash that without having to go inside. I don't think there was anything up here yeah doesn't look like it okay let's uh let, let's start building shall we so I'm gonna get this place so that so that they're not all pissed off at me and uh, probably just see you guys in a minute alrighty welcome back so here's what we have so far I have a couple defenses up um, yeah I have a couple defenses up disciples are assigned to them I have a wa a water pump set up with the generators needed so they have water I set the scavenger station up so they it'll start producing some scrap which will help out a little bit uh, on the inside, there's not much going on. Um, I did on the, the most obvious thing I've done is I cleared a lot of the junk away, um, which helps a lot. I, I patched that hole in the floor with some wood, and I have laid out sleeping bags so they have beds to sleep in. And I put some turrets up on these ledges because it's obviously a great vantage point. So they have defenses and everything else. The only thing that, that, that they don't have is food. So we'll have to... Uh, we're going to go and... Oh yeah, we have to also build our, our our flag here as well. Anyway, but yeah, otherwise it's looking really good, man. And I'm pretty happy. So first we can go ahead and axe all of that. We don't need any of that there. And then as far as flags, the disciple flag. We can put it up. A little more center mass would be nice. I wonder if we should put it up higher. Oops. If we should like try to put it up top. There we go. I did it. There we go. Now it's like center mass and even. So that's nice. All right. So anyway, their happiness is going up because everything's a lot better. They need food, but that's next priority. Okay. So let's see. Check in with your crew. I know that they're going to like, we need food, man. Hey. Hmm. Unimpressive, but I guess it'll do. The sooner we get some supplies coming in, the better. You can run along now. Go tell them how it went. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go talk to Shank and be like, "Hey, man, 
we did it. So, oh, the other thing is on your map. This is the a good way to tell. So, as you can see, it uh, it'll it has a little bandit symbol, and there's like this little chains around it. Other thing is you'll notice that when I highlight it, you notice how the slog right here it has a different symbol. So that means it can be taken over for food and stuff, and now it has like half a chain and everything. Um, yeah, it can be taken over. So there there's good stuff like that. And uh, so we'll definitely be taking over the slog for food. There is also lots of settlements over there that we'll also be taking over. So we will, uh, but yeah, but now let's go talk to Shank because we need to procure food for our people. Okay, back again. I was like, ooh, look, tickets. I don't know why I care. Anyway. Yo, I done diddly did it, man. Shank. Oh, well, word going around is there's some new raider boss tearing up the common. Not too shabby. I'll make sure your cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, now that we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two, provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide, will be waiting in your trunk up in Fiztop. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough up. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Hey. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, I say we like, Th using force again for our first one. Kneecaps, meet bullets. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll make sure everyone knows this is a maiming job. So, which gang you want to back you up? Now it's time to throw a bone to our second choices. The operators. I'll send word along. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your pit boy. The slog might be a good choice to That's hit. That's actually where we're gonna hit. Though I'd have to confirm that's still the case. So, where you want to do this? I was actually just gonna say the slog. Hmm. All right. Yeah. That one will do. Now, forcing a place to turn over provisions ain't complicated. Beat the locals so bad they don't want to fight anymore. Put any backup they might have called in in the dirt. I'll Easy. send a couple gangers to meet you there. Make sure they know not to kill the settlers. Watch yourself out there. All right. So this is actually a little easier than you would believe. Um, it's because all you have to do is ju you just shoot them enough times and they just go down like they're wounded. Um, but you can't actually kill them. And so this it's not as hard as it might be. Now I'm going to check to see if we can open that door now. If we can't, then I'll probably just see you outside uh, outside the slot. Alrighty, welcome back. So a lot has changed. Um, first of all, I went and I checked on the mansion and I tried again with Dixie and now she won't even attempt it. I'm, I'm willing to bet because she already failed once. So then I had the idea, okay, well what if I switch to Gloric and I have him try? So I tried it and he didn't even try once saying, you know, nope, can't do it. Willing to bet because again, we just, we just did it. So, you know, there you go. Um, and I, so I tried that, didn't work. So then I ran back to base and I switched. I also ch uh, changed Dixie's voice to the Assaultron voice. I, I honestly like it better. I, so I liked Gloric more after he stopped that patronizing nice voice. And so I like, I switched Dixie to the Assaultron voice and I honestly like it better. And I also changed Gloric's helmet. So his, his helmet is different now. It's much more crazy looking. And uh, now we're back. We're outside the slog almost. We're getting ready to meet up with our bros. And uh, there you go. You're, you're all caught up. So if you want to listen to Dixie now. Look alive. Affirmative. See what I mean? So much more likable. <laughs> Take away that pesky personality and it just it solves it immediately. Man, we, need, uh, we definitely need to discover some more farms. There's a farm over there to the west. That could be the slog, but it like undiscovered it or something. That could be a thing. 
And I know there's other farms that we need, but yeah, we're going to need a boatload of farms. And that's the thing about the Raider Outpost, is they actually don't stop growing. If they're happy, they grow. So it can be a problem, because it can be hard to take care of. So that's the reason is the best idea is to take many as many farms as you can, kind of as fast as you can, and then take the outpost a little bit slow, because it's very easy to accidentally go too far, and then now suddenly you're screwed. So, you know, something to watch out for. Hey there. Hey, boss. Heard there's some settlers in need of a maiming. Sounds like fun. You want us to get started? Let's hit it. Let's do this. All right. Let's do it. Kill the backup defending the slog, cripple the settlers. You guys try to figure out a way, your way over the bridge. Although it would be kind of cool to attack together as a team, but they are obviously having trouble getting past there. Are we having issues, team? Oh, one of you almost made it. Oh, there's one. There we go. Forward, that way, that way. Mush. Go, my minions. There we go, there we go. All right, last one. Come on, I like your bullet belt, by the way. Dixie, don't you do that. I will blow your face off. Okay, we go. I pushed him, and I got everybody moving, so now we're ready to begin our attack. And I think it's cooler if you do it with your actual people. Hang on, I gotta go back up that first guy. Back up. Uh, okay. I wanna go here. Let's see, I'm holding frag grenades. It'd be kinda cool to use, like, one of the new grenades. Let's, let's try a fury grenade. Threat lost. Just go ahead and switch back there. Boom. Get flanked, idiot. Get him, Dixie. Hi. All the, all, like, all the killing and all, like, the getting hit, getting hit, and I just turned, but, like, hey, knock that off. Get the coward who hid. Oh, my gosh, just one hit. <laughs> it's like, get the coward who hid for the battle. All right. That went well. And everyone's down, holding wounds. Good. All right, stand up, hippie. You're gonna start supplying Nuka World, understand? All right, all right. We'll send whatever you want. Just leave us alone. Beautiful. Just like that, kids. The, the slog is now under our control. They'll start producing food for my boys. Well done, team. Well done. All right, fantastic. So, as you can see looking at the map now, you can see that now they have the, the little hands up and they're like sur they're like surrounded. So now it means that they're under my control. Okay, so I think we're going to run back to... Uh, first, I think we will talk to Shank, but you can actually move Shank to different outposts. And I think we're going to send him to probably Croup Manor um, so that we can access him easier without having to go back to Nuka World all the time. So I think that that's what we'll do. Alrighty. Back again. Threatening to tear the place apart if we don't get the hell out of there. It's cute, but irritating. Then I guess we'll just have to let them know who they're dealing with. You did good. Now get going. The adults are gonna discuss this. All right, what's up, man? Figure this would happen sooner or later. Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors in the Commonwealth. An outside crew of raiders think we're honing in on their territory. Sounds like they're planning to tear the place up, and our people with it. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh yeah. I will rip them to shreds, personally. Bingo. 
Only language raiders in the Commonwealth understand. Force. But you should probably get going. You wouldn't want to keep our new friends waiting. Wouldn't be neighborly. That's right. It wouldn't be neighborly. And I'm all about being neighborly. All right, let's go to go back to Croup Manor and uh, protect my boys and girls. All right, what's going on, people? Hey. Well, look who finally made it. We spotted a pretty shady group nearby. Could get company any minute, so watch your back. Can't wait to paint this place with blood. Oh, I'm ready. Who's in charge around here? I'll tear their heart out. I'm you. Hey, punk. You, the Nuka World waste pile that thought you could move your gang into sinners' territory and live? You give me one good reason. I shouldn't slice you open and eat your heart right here. Because I would dumpster you. <laughs> you listen closely. This land is ours. Look at that so gun. Turn around and crawl back under whatever rock you came from. Right now. Whoa, whoa, easy. Take it, take it. I scared him easy, off. All right? Sure, just, uh, you know what? Keep it. The place was a shithole anyway. That's what I thought you said. Get lost. <laughs> I like how we literally, literally scared him away. Just like, I will eat your face right in front of your boys. And he's like, whoa, holy cow, calm down. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> we just immediately scared him off with our bloodthirstiness. That's what happens when you have a high charisma, man. You can talk people into a lot of things. For instance, talking him into, you know, leaving you alone. What's really going to be funny is how, how short this episode's going to be after I cut out all the stuff. We're going to lose like 30 minutes. <laughs> it's going to be so short by comparison, so that's kind of funny. But it's just the way the cookie crumbled today. All right. Shank. Shank. Hey, man. Hey, hmm. Shank. Heard some rumbles. This one didn't get you either. Figure I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, no, Shank. I died. I'm a ghost. <laughs> well, your secret's safe with me, regardless. So I suppose your recent success brings us to the next step. Loyalty. Without loyalty, everything that's yours ain't and to keep a crew loyal you need to keep them happy now keeping raiders happy isn't real hard just have to make sure they've got their basic necessities just like any other settlement that they've got some things to keep them entertained and that their food's taken care of which with raiders well isn't like dealing with other settlements now if you want me to go into detail on any of that you just say. Oh, don't you worry about it. I'm all caught up. I think I've got everything I need to know. Sure. If you've ever got more questions, you come find me. Or you can always consult that pit boy on your arm. No better tool to tell you what your outpost may be hurting for. Now, this time around, seems the outpost doesn't need much setting up. Means we can start looking onward. And with the place in as good shape as it is, I was thinking it might be time I set up shop there. Save you a trip anytime you want to run a job. Oh, too real. I was you thinking the same let thing. Me know if that's something that it interests you. Be good to make some trouble in the Commonwealth again. So, you ready for the final piece of the puzzle? Ready as I'll ever be. Good to hear. Because what you've made is a foothold. To solidify our place, our outfit's gonna need some real numbers. Two more outposts carved from the Commonwealth ought to do the trick. Get all that together, and, <laughs> well, we'll have a real base of power on our hands. With that kind of clout, we'll be able to start setting up dealers at our outposts, get to selling stuff like real damn towns. We keep expanding from there, we'll even be able to set up spots where the locals can come drop off tribute. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, You'll want to start by claiming another two outposts. You just let me know whenever you want to get rolling on those jobs. So, boss, what's the plan? All right. Uh, let's see. 
first let's go ahead and run a job and then I'll send him to Nothing an outpost. To run a job. Works for me. What type of job did you want to run? Let's see. Um I'm looking to have some words with a local settlement. Convince them to contribute to the cause. Ought to take care of those new outposts first, boss. Ah, uh, come then on. We can talk supplies. Now, if there's something I can set up for you, you just let me know. Man, fine. It's time we took over another settlement. Sure thing, boss. You gonna talk to them yourself, or should I get a crew to help you put them in the dirt? Um, that's a great question. I wonder if I should just kick the door in again. Get me a crew. That settlement's not gonna know what hit them. I'll make it happen. I like doing them these old, in doing things the old-fashioned way. The job. And then this time we'll give the operators the base. The operators. I'll let them know. So, where you want to do this? Okay. Options. We could just do stuff like Starlight Drive-In would be a good one because there's nothing going on there. Jamaica Plain's a good one too because there's not much going on there. Um, Murkwater Construction Site's not bad because again there ain't nothing going on there either. That marina. Oh, that's interesting. We just discovered that. We know there's nothing going on there either. Yeah, we, we just discovered that recently. Spectacle Island is a fun one. That That's a cool base because there's like literally there's nothing going on there. Taffington Boathouse is a good one. Red Rocket Truck Stop could be good. <laughs> I take over the slog and take away our only food. Look at all the options I got, guys. Holy crap. Okay, let's just... I'm thinking let's send the operators because remember, this is an operator's base. So maybe let's go to Starlight Drive-In. Let me... Yeah, that one will do. So you know how this job works. Head to the target, put down anything that moves. I'll make sure you've got some backup waiting to lend a hand when you get there. Knock them dead, boss. All right. Hey, Shank. More outposts you claim, the easier it's going to be to intimidate settlements near them. Okay, apparently I'll have to do the job before I can send him to an outpost, but I swear it's gonna happen, Shank. It's gonna happen. Beautiful. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, we did all that already. Okay. Cover your first clear your oh yeah, for your first payout. Okay. Well maybe maybe let's do that then. Let's go ahead and uh, head over to Fizztop and collect my first my first tribute from the Commonwealth. Cause yeah, the uh the all the towns and places you take over, they'll send tribute, they'll send caps and supplies to uh, Fizztop, so I'll get my cut of money. Um, so it just passively makes money. And then they'll send supplies to, you know, your outpost. And that part, you don't have to do anything with that. Um, they just they just send it, so they're just, it's passive. They're just feeding, feeding your guys as best they can, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's nice. But yeah, that's what this trunk is actually for. As you can see, one outpost and we're already up 173 caps. So as you can imagine, you start multiplying that, and it uh, doesn't take long before you have, you know, a lot going on. So I'm thinking, let's go ahead and do something a little bit random, and let's go find that, collect the laser from Hyde Park, is what I'm thinking about doing. And then I think we'll call the episode. And cause, uh, because I have, after we cut out all, the, all that extra stuff, I'm thinking that it'll, it'll work out about fine. And uh, I don't expect collecting the laser from Hyde Park is going to exactly be, you know, anything too crazy. Although maybe we should just call the episode here, because even after cutting the footage, it'll still be short. All right, well maybe that's what we'll do. So let's go ahead and unhighlight that. So then when we come back, I can figure out d to do like you know, I can do whatever I want. But yeah, we'll set up lots of bases. Now after we have three outposts, uh, after we have three outposts, then we will be uh, then it will un unlock so that we can put uh, stores inside our outposts. Um, so that and then we can assign guys to them. So the reason that's nice is because uh, at our first one at Croup Manor probably we're gonna set up an armor shop. So the armor shop I will assign disciples to it, and it's gonna be amazing because then we can buy armor from them whenever they have it. Um, so then we can buy armor from them, and that'll be amazing. Um, yeah. So then we'll have we'll be able to buy armor, and then we can actually wear a full set of disciple armor, which would be amazing. So that is our that's the goal we're shooting for. And uh, although I like I like our look, I think a little bit of tweaking could make us look even better. And uh, but otherwise, I'm I'm happy with that. As you can see, Glorix is oh I can show you guys the Glorix new helmet. That's Glorix new helmet. As you can see, it's very hardcore. You can see 
you could see the, the the little brain inside, and he has that crazy looking helmet. But it's cool. Anyway, but yeah, I changed Glorik's helmet. Otherwise, he's the same, which is cool. She's the same too, but she's just she's much less patronizing now. Look alive. Affirmative. See what I mean? Far less patronizing. Anyway, but uh, yeah, it's looking good. Oh man, this one's too high. I will not be able to let that go. All right, well let's climb into this armor as I run into the front of it. There we go. Warp to the back. We're good. All right, well let's go ahead and climb into this and push us down a step because that is it's the only one up on the ledge, and I will not be able to let that go. So let's go ahead and uh, there we go. Beautiful, right there. There we go. See how close I was? There we go. Now it's not on the ledge. Much better. Anyway, it's funny. This is like the least complete of all of them. It has T60, which is good. That's T45. That's X01. That's super fancy T60, but barely. And that is T51F. So lots of lots of upgrades, but obviously the best one that we use is this one. The overboss power armor, which is cool. The next best one is gonna definitely gonna be my Brotherhood armor, but can't help but love this one, man. It's awesome. Anyway, but yeah, that'll be that's where we are gonna call this one. Um, when we come back, we will be probably working on outposts, I imagine, and uh, working on supplying them. And that's the thing about the Raider outposts is they actually don't stop growing. So long as they're happy, their numbers keep going up. So it very quickly can get out of hand. Now the problem is they won't let you uh, capture too many like farms to supply you um, in the first early stages because they kind of want to push you to doing like one settlement and one farm and then rinse repeat until you have all three. Uh, your initial three now and then after you get your initial three the story progresses we are getting very close to the end game of the nuka world dlc um and uh yeah but then after that you can set up up to you can set up a lot more and everything and after that you can capture more farms um but the first three is kind of an onslaught so it's a little bit rough initially because you can't capture farms in advance which i wish you could do but you really can't unfortunately um, but yeah, so other than that though, I think that'll be a great place to call this one. So yeah, odds are when we come back, we'll be working on outposts and continuing Nuka World stuff and things of that nature. And, uh, that'll be pretty sweet. Anyway, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today and we will talk to you guys later.